Hello, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is me, that's her, and this is us playing this. Thank you so very much for joining us back once again in the world of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wow, it's been months since I said that. <laughs> yeah. Like, when did we, I don't know, when did we stop It's funny when we did it this? so much that, like, your recordings, when you started, you kept, like, bloopering because you kept saying this instead of, like, whatever game we were playing. And now I just fucking, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think one of the last ones I bloopered with Donkey Kong because we were playing so much of it at one point. <laughs> um, so obviously, you know, being that you're watching this video, we are back. We are back in the world of The Legend of Zelda because... DLC! Um, July 31st, DLC pack number one came out. I realize that it is no, not July 31st, but whatever. We're recording it now. We're busy. Yeah, it's summertime. <laughs> summertime. Anyways, so we are going to start with the Trial of the Sword? Trial of the Ancients? Master? Master Trial? Something like that. I forget what it was called. Anyway, so it directed us not to go... Uh, can I just... Yeah, can I pick a... What the fuck? What the hell? Uh, I don't remember how to play this anymore. So we're, we're gonna start with uh, everybody's favorite. A travel montage. <laughs> and not really, because I hate doing montages. Travel montage! They're so annoying. To edit. I mean, so is this, but whatever. So we were instructed by the game because you know our lives are all controlled just by technology anymore <laughs> to go visit the Deku tree leave this or area Deku tree just outside or the Deku castle tree. yeah I always found that funny we're just gonna you're gonna leave the area into an like just as dangerous area okay, how do I play this I need to re affiliate myself with the controls oh, I forgot you can jump Reassociate. Get that muscle memory back. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I should stock up. Okay. Oh, I can do that? Whoa! Whoa! That's fucking awesome. That is cool. That's like my favorite part thus far. Can you like zoom in and can see each individual? Can you explain what you just did just now? No. I Google map this shit, <laughs> basically. No, uh, this is another new feature that they released with the DLC number one pack. Um, you can actually, as you're playing, track your uh, footsteps. Yeah, track. Well, I don't. It's not necessarily individual footsteps, but you can track your journey. Um, I don't know if it's just based on point to point because it doesn't. Like right here, it looks like I went through the field so it doesn't look like it's just strictly related to like the roads and stuff mm -hmm. so that's really cool i thought i went around in this forest a little more anyways uh deku tree i think this is where we want to yeah that's where we want to go Whee! i think wait is that the lost wood We'll find out when we get there. If not, then we'll be lost in the woods. <laughs> and they will be the lost woods, just not the right lost woods. They'll be the wrong lost woods. Which will make them the right lost woods. Either way, they're lost woods. What? Are they like traveling ends who just don't know where they're going? Because they didn't stop for directions? <laughs> you need to themselves. stop for directions! The <laughs> no, we don't! The woods themselves are lost. Oh, wait. You're not a tree. Well, I mean, why else would they call them the Lost Woods? If people were getting lost in the woods, they wouldn't be the Lost Woods. They'd be people getting lost in these woods' woods. You will get fucking lost and die in these woods. 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 Exactly. <laughs> What's up, bruh? Oh, I don't even remember the voice I gave for this. It was kind of like the voice you just used right now. Huh? <clears throat> What's this? No, it wasn't the old man voice. Mm, what's this? Yeah, you do it. A voice beckoned you here, I see. So, the time has come. 
I don't like the way you said come. <laughs> I shall now tell you all I know about the arduous trial that awaits you. I'm still hung up on come. <laughs> that sword you have reunited with, the master sword, it has yet to realize its true splendor. Oh, right. Press the button! I love those little guys. <laughs> I know, they're so cute. The trial shall test your courage. Ensure you are worthy of it. To ensure you are worthy of this splendor. Somebody's blazing. <laughs> It's called the Trial of the Sword. It will challenge you as you have never been challenged before. <laughs> I want like eight of those as my children. All of your weapons and armor will be sealed away. You must face your enemies without the tools you've come to rely on. Son of a bitch! Once you have tempered your soul and proven your wisdom and courage by completing the trial of the sword, the master sword shall truly be yours. Hmm, unless my eyes deceive me, you seem quite willing to take on this trial. A hero through and through. Now, Link, place the master sword in its pedestal. That guy kind of reminds you, or did... Link in this costume kind of reminds you of, uh, what the fuck is that called? Uh, give me a sec, I'll remember it. Why oh, do I have to, like, watch him kill himself to do this again? I like those little tree dudes, just back to the other subject. But I don't know if I trust an animal that wears a mask. Really, if you think about it, that is like the skin of another tree dude. Ooh. I or mean, it, like, grew off of him, and he's wearing a growth on his face. Maybe. That's why I don't trust those guys. The leaf is, like, a little bit of the... Hmm. Uh, Buffalo Bill situation, possibly? You. Why am I naked? He took all of your gear. Well, it's good I didn't waste 30 minutes to go stock up. <clears throat> to the Blade's chosen hero, in the name of the goddess Hylea, I offer this trial. You presently lack the power necessary to wield the true splendor of the Master Sword. You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. Water. In this illusory realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. All that you can obtain here it's will like be lost kind of upon your garden. return to the reality that you know. I mean, Chosen hero of the Master Sword, overcome the trial of the sword and claim the blade's true splendor. Beginning trial. Okay. Sword amongst trials. So, what do I do? I'm gonna crouch. Any wait. Oh, my costume's gone. Oh. It was covering the horrific scarring of my face. Anyways, <laughs> with the uh, with the uh, the little mm -hmm. like bandito costume I had going on, mm -hmm. kind of reminded me of uh, what is that? What's that famous play? There's like a movie about it. Dude in a cape. Oh, cape. I think he has a cape. Anyways, Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually brings me to something I was thinking about earlier today. And I don't know exactly how it came to be that I thought about this. I think I need to steal a weapon. But forgive my brain for this for anybody who's about to get scarred. Anybody who knows me. But uh, my thought was, what if... Oh, shit. I have no weapons. Go away! Throw something at them! I will. What if... Oh, throw it! Oh shit. That didn't do anything. I'm dead. I don't know what to do! What if... The Phantom of the Opera... Didn't inhabit... A, uh, a place, like a physical location. What if... He inhabited a body? Now that... Oh shit. No! That sounds kind of weird, and for all intents and purposes it kind of is, but... What I mean is, 
And hear me out. Wait. I'm trying to figure out where you're going with it. Just, just give me a second. I forgot that he didn't take my bombs. Uh, how do I switch to not? That's better. The Phantom of Your Mama. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so what I thought, I need to drop one of these. Boosh! Sweet. Anyways, what I thought was uh, he would inhabit not the entire body of of, of like a lady, but he would in. Oh in, my god. In, <laughs> you can probably figure out where this is going. <laughs> he inhabits. What the fuck, man? <laughs> he inhabits the cave of the vagina. <laughs> and I, I kind of, I kind of not wrote the song because obviously the song was already wrote. And I don't know the tune of the original, like Phantom of the Opera song, but like one of his songs would be. Uh, how did that go now? That's how it would go. No. Nope. I inhabit the walls of Vagina. <laughs> My music makes it swell and flow with passion. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> don't ask me how I arrived at that. Uh, I don't, because you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> I am the phantom of your mama. <laughs> Ew, wouldn't that make him your dad? Yeah, if he jacked off in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking water. I know. That's what makes the it The reason funnier. you're probably thinking about Phantom is because I was probably telling you about going to see it with my mom and my sister and my niece. You didn't tell me that. You never tell me where you go anymore. I don't, <laughs> like, you don't even care. Times. You don't even listen to me well, anymore. I mean, just, just, you ever tried listening to yourself? Yeah, I listen to myself all the time. Oh, well, then you're crazy. I listen to myself too much. Oh, shit. Did I just... Uh, I already got spotted. Great. Oh, how am I going to kill what you? Anyways. Ouch. So you went to Phantom of the Opera it was really cool. last night? Like, I'm not... <coughs> I'm not, like, a crazy fan of Phantom of the oh, Opera. Oh, shit! But I like oh. the really deep music, like, when the orchestra gets really deep or the... Um, the... What is the big piano thing that's not a piano? Organ? Organ, that's the one. <laughs> when the, organ, the big piano thing that's not a when piano. When the organ gets really deep. I was looking forward to the first, there's like this scene in the first Shit. Um, few minutes of the play that I was looking forward to the Shit. most. And then after that, it was pretty, like I was like, all right, I'm satisfied. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll just wait here for the rest of whatever to happen. And it was really neat because my mom brought binoculars. And like, in the beginning, the the um, the chandelier rises up. And like, they're like, hmm. add electricity. And it like, starts to flicker a little bit and light up. And I'm watching it like, rise with the binoculars. So I'm watching it like, high def really close. And then, um... As soon as I took off the monoculars, it started to like spark all over and it's really neat because the chandelier is like actually over the audience. So I don't like I Fucking like, stab! Like but it was really neat. I'd love to be like right under that watching it go up. That'd be neat. And okay, I don't so want to say much more, but there was really cool effects. Like the way they did water was really neat. It was like they had smoke that filled the stage really thick and then they projected light on it that made it look like water and then like there was really neat things i don't know there was neat sound effects like they made the fandom sound like he was like behind you a couple of times i don't want to say much more but i'm just gonna spoil the entire show for you and the only my only complaint is that there was a lot of statues in it and then there, there's a lot of moments where like they're in kind of a state where where their like minds are vulnerable. I'm not saying like they were on drugs. I mean like. Well, I mean. I mean like. Let's be honest now. I don't know. I can't explain it without really ruining anything. But anyways, they're kind of in a like a like a dreamy state a couple of times, and 
like there's statues around and i was like you guys missed the opportunity to have those statues come to life and like represent more of a fantastical world but yeah very very cool i would relive that night again if i could but yeah like i said i'm not a crazy phantom fan but i enjoy it <laughs> i've seen like parts of the movie i i've heard like i've seen the commercials so that's about as much exposure as i have ever had to phantom of the opera so when you say phantom of the opera i think dude in a mask self-conscious don't care whoa Back away! <laughs> Abusive or abused temperamental Wait, murderous dude in the mask who was mistreated his whole life. Shit. Ow. Aw. <laughs> My shield burned up. How many of these fucking things are there? All week, though, I keep randomly... Like, even before I saw the show, I kept having, like... Random parts of the... Play... The, like, random parts and random songs get stuck in my head. When I was showering the morning of, I was singing one of the songs, and I was... I didn't even notice. I'm usually very aware of what I'm doing, and I didn't even notice. I was like... God! <laughs> I think my subconscious God, is a little anxious me. about this. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Well, I mean, you were like, oh, I'm going to... Where'd that chest that was? I was there, worried girl? that the music would be too powerful for me live, but it, it wasn't. <laughs> it was powerful music, but still. Um. <laughs> maybe it's just because I know the story and I've heard the music so much. Like, it's... I don't have my abilities. That's great. But yeah, the the part that I was looking forward to the most, which is about... After five minutes of the actual start of the play, super cool, and it lasts like a minute, not even. And, and then, then the I was like, it... "All right, <laughs> could <Satisfied. do> with <laughs> it." I'll just see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Actually, it was really funny because the the um, auditorium that we went to, it's right on the like kind of side of the hill of Calgary, and. I was more entranced with, like, the views from these big windows in the lobby of the city than I was with the play. Like, when we got there, and we got to our floor, uh, there's just these massive windows with views of the city, and opposite are the doors to the auditorium. And my family just goes straight into the auditorium, doesn't even take a glance to the right, and I'm just like, whoa! <laughs> like... You guys are missing this. I stopped and looked over and then for a minute and then caught up with them. And come on. Come I was on. like, I, when on. I got there, I was like, uh, did you guys not see the magnificent windows with the views of the cities? And they were like, yeah, that's nice. It's like, you guys suck. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. Like one of the, one of the most endearing things about that place is like uh, the surrounding city line. Yeah. I love it. I've, I, the name of the place escapes me now. It's not the Windspear Center. That's in Edmonton. Jubilee Auditorium. That's, oh, God. That's the one. Um, I went there on... A, I can't remember if it was like a school field trip or something. It was something to do with band when I was still like a band geek. Come on. Give me some lift. Car. Oh. A car. Yeah. Our, again, sorry for the extremely loud like vehicle well, noises it's just, we just it's jackass, just where we like, live decides to drive really loud no. next to our, on the road there but whatever unfortunately we deal with it every day anyways you went to the jubilee of the, 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 the jubilee auditorium yes, you did. i went there on a school trip in either grade eight or grade nine i don't remember which one amazing place very like i mean beyond the outside views like even the inside of the building is very very beautiful um very like very state of the art mm -hmm. it was it was like, like one of my favorite experiences upscale. oh and i was probably the only person there wearing yoga pants okay i was gonna wear a dress a really cute little dress with some freaking chucks but i did not have time to get changed to wear a dress because i had to work and then I had to go straight after work 
So I didn't have time to try to put on nylons and do a bunch of shit. I just had to grab whatever I could real quick. So I'm like the only person there wearing freaking yoga pants. Also, I'm at the tail end of like sinus problems. So I'm like coughing and sneezing through the whole thing and trying to make it as quiet as possible. And only blowing my nose when the music gets really loud. <laughs> way, to, way to personify the female stereotype I there. Stood, I stood out so bad in that place. <laughs> even against my family. Even against my niece who wears nothing but jeans and hoodies oh, even in the hottest weather. Damn it. She was wearing nice clothes. I was like, damn it. I'm so weird. <laughs> damn it. Just barely missed. Is there more chests up by the wall? I should have taken those extra couple of minutes to change into a dress instead. Well, I told you, you had more than enough time. Shit! Oh well. <laughs> oh my <mom. laughs> Oh, I just bombed myself. That was. <clears throat> my mom ridiculous. showed up early. She was there at 5 15 when I get home from work and. I was like, I told you 5 30. I told you I would be leaving work at 5 15 and. Be ready by 5 30. She's like, no, you said 5 15. And I was like, woman! <laughs> woman. I did not! <laughs> woman to your mother. Yeah, well. Woman to your mother. That sounds like a phrase like, word to your mother, man. <laughs> Shit! Oh, that was fucking sweet. Uh, where's my axe? Where's my axe? Give me my axe! Whoa! Bust your box, bitch! Whoa, whoa, that was uncalled for. That was not nice. Um, is this really just you have to fight a bunch of dudes? Like, yeah, I'm trial. gonna die. This is the trial. You are screwed. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. I don't have any. Um, do I have food? I think I picked some food. These menus are for. Yes, steak. Tiny bit of food. Eat the tiny bit of food. Huh. Eat the tiny bit of food. I think these get good for you. better when you cook them, so I will cook them. Bye! <laughs> Wait, I have bombs. Ouch. I just like threw him off. That's all I did. Yeah, that did nothing. Two guys down there. I'm king of the hill and you're a bunch of assholes. They're coming up, man. They're coming back. Oh! And they're mad. Do I have anything that has uh, boomerang? I guess. Oh, sweet! Die. I de-shielded you. You know, you'd think an axe would hurt a lot more than a big wooden stick. I mean, sure, the stick's got. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh man! You know what the shitty thing about this is? Mm. You start right back from the beginning. Yeah, you sure do. I don't know if you start back from the beginning, missing everything you acquired though. So let's find that out. Mm -mm. I really, really, really hope I have my axe and my boomerang and my three pieces of fruit. I will be very sore if they are gone. <clears throat> You will be very sore, because then you'll be sore and then dead. Sure. Sore and dead? Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Oh, well, wow. I'm just gonna collect these silent, silent princesses, princesses, go home and masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that was the first foray, foray into that. So, uh, we're, we're gonna cut it here, we're gonna learn from our losses. Maybe, you know, play around for a minute to get the feel for the controls back. And then we're going to come back to this. So thank you so very much for watching. This has been me. That's been her. And this has been us playing this. Thanks. Bye.